Welcome to our Operator Experience series where we'll be deep diving into various topics. In this specific video, we'll be double clicking into device monitoring and health for AP, switch, and gateway. Starting on our network overview page, this gives us insights into all the sites that we manage with New Central. On the left-hand side, you can see there's London, Miami, and some other sites as well. But the thing that I want you to focus on is this bar here, where it has some red, some green, and this is our overall site health. Now we can click into this London site, but we can also look at specific device health as well. And we can do that by clicking expand on this device health card. And then here we have some indicators as well. So we have one switch with an alert. We have some alerts on some access points, our Dallas site. We also have some issues in London, but for the sake of this demo, we're going to go to the Miami site. So I'm gonna do that by clicking this one here. Now that I've clicked that one, what it's done is a couple of things. It's taken me to the Miami site here on the left-hand side. It's also applied a filter for my devices. So if I click on this filter, it's gonna tell me that I have one device that has poor health, and it's gonna also filter out that time frame as well. I'm gonna close out of that. And I can drill down even further and see what's going on with that device. So here I actually have the alert tells me there's high port utilization with frame drops. I'm going to click on this device so that I can get some more insight into what's going on. Notice that on the top here in this help card, I have high port utilization with frame rate drops. So it's telling me the error that's going on right now. It's telling me the last time it was restarted. It's telling me the uptime, the configuration status, all that juicy information. On the right hand side, it's also telling me the connectivity and performance as well. But if I wanted to drill down even further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the network planet on the left hand side here. And here I can actually see the affected ports. If I hover over one of those ports, you'll actually see that it tells me the exact error that's going on. And it also tells me the spanning tree forwarding state, which is important because frame drops and high port utilization and, and a high broadcast traffic is probably indicative that there's a loop of some kind on our network. I can expand this out as well. And I can actually scroll down in this list. And that's going to tell me what ports are having this issue as well. So I can click on that port here, or I can click in the faceplate menu up here as well. I can take a look at additional details by expanding that port usage out and then clicking show frame details, and then scrolling down to broadcast where I can see that it has a 100% broadcast rate. What I could do from here is I could then do some additional troubleshooting. I could check on that port. I could see why all those ports are having issues. But in this case, I know that we've caused that loop on purpose just so we could trigger this error for the sake of this demo. So I'm gonna back out of this. I'm not gonna do any additional troubleshooting. What I am going to do is I'm gonna walk you through what information you can get from an AP and a gateway using the same faceplate and how you can drill down from there as well. So to do that, there's a couple of ways I can actually navigate back to the, my APs and gateway devices. So I can either go to my topology page over here, or I can actually go back to the home page. I can click on network and I can clear this filter and I can also not have switches selected, I can click any. And then down here, I get a list of all the devices that are connected to my network. If I wanted to take a look at APs, I can click APs here. And then I can click on a device. And what that's going to do is it can take me to a similar view to my switch view. The only difference is this one doesn't have any errors right now. You'll also see that I have some events down here as well, which the switch had those as well. I just didn't expand on them. I can expand this out and I can see additional information that is related to this AP. So I can see that clients have associated, I can see when they get DHCP request and get all types of juicy details regarding this access point. If I close out of this, I can also take a look at that faceplate view that I had for the switch as well. And it just has less ports on an access point, so it's not as interesting but here you can actually see that it's connected to a different switch in this case. And I can do the same thing for my gateways as well. I can navigate to that by going to the home page last time. I'm gonna navigate that going to the topology view this time. I'm on the topology view and I can see that this AP is connected to the switch that we just saw and I can see it's connected to a gateway. 
to go back, I can just click this home button. Then I can click on the gateway that we saw earlier. So in this case, it's this gateway. And click go to device. And then I can click these tiles. And it's going to take me to the same page that we saw before for the switch and the AP. And then here I can click on network and I can get some additional information. In this case, I have some WAN health and I could expand that out. And I can see I have one LAN uplink. And I can see the throughput. But in this case, if I wanted to see the faceplate information as well, I can do that also by expanding that out. And it'll tell me VLAN information as well. In this case, I don't believe I have LDP enabled, so I'm not going to be able to see my neighbors and what devices are connected. Closing that out. This is going to conclude our first video in our network operator series. Be on the lookout for additional videos.